So welcome students. So today's session is about uh, Indian agriculture which is geography third lesson unit 3. So let us move on to the lesson on the introduction part we have soil is one of the most important natural resources. So soil means man ok. So it is the most important natural resource. So we get soil from nature. India's varied natural environments resulted in a great variety of soils. So how does India get so many variety of soils because India has got variety of natural environments. So this when compared to any other country of similar size in the world. So if you take India and compare it with another country which is of the similar size, they, that country may not have this much uh, varied soil. The rich deep and fertile soil support high density of population through agricultural prosperity. So uh, the soil in India that we find they are rich, they are deep and they are fertile. So this uh, paves way or gives way to agriculture and thus we have a huge population soils. Soil is the uppermost layer of the land surface. So what is soil? As we said just now in Tamil, man, what is it? That is the uppermost layer of the land. Usually it has minerals, organic matter, living organisms, air and water. Grains in the soil. So um, grains are small, small particles that make up the soil. They are of three categories. They are clay. Clay means Kaliman, silt, silt is a, a deposit that you have uh, that is called as silt and sand. Soils are generally formed by the weathering of rocks. So when rocks, when rocks, uh, when they are you know disintegrated, when they are broken up uh, under different conditions, we have uh, soils being uh, produced. Some soils are formed by the deposition of agents of Denudation. Denudation is when the earth's surface is being washed away uh, that we call it as uh, denudation. So that because of the top surface of the earth is washed away, uh, we call that as a soil. Soils can vary greatly from one region to the other. Types of soil. The Indian Council of Agricultural Research that is ICAR which was set up in 1953 divides soils of India into the following eight main groups. They are alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterite soil, forest and mountain soil, arid and desert soil, saline and alkaline soil, PT and marshy soil. So we will be learning about each of them in the next part of it. So now we have a tabular column where we see the soil type what characters it has, where is it found and where, what are the crops which grow in that kind of a soil, alluvial soil. Uh, we know these two places Khadar and Bangar. Khadar soil is light colored, more siliceous, siliceous means containing silica, a type of sand. Bangar, the older alluvium composed of lime, nodules, nodules are small bits. Okay and has clayey composition, clayey is uh, kaliman, okay, clayey composition, it is dark in color. Formation sediments deposited by streams and rivers when they slowly lose. So when streams and rivers, waters from streams and rivers when they slow down, you know, that time you will get sediments, sediments are leftovers that forms alluvial soil chemical properties it is rich in potash potash means potassium phosphoric acid lime and carbon compounds but it is poor in nitrogen nature it is sandy it's loam it's silt it's clayey a profile shows no marked differentiation so it looks like sometimes it is looks like sand like sometimes it's silt silt sometimes it's like clay so we cannot highly differentiate this kind of a soil so where it is found Ganga and Brahmaputra river valleys, plains of Uttar Pradesh, Uttranjal, Punjab, Haryana, West Bengal and Bihar and river mouth of east coast. So these are the places where you find alluvial soil. 
what crops grow there rice wheat is godumma sugar cane and oil seeds all kinds of oil seeds grow from this alluvial soil black soil formation derived from basalts of deccan trap so the deccan plateau has got a kind of rock which is called as basalt so from that you get this black soil color black color due to presence of titanium and iron chemical properties it consists of calcium and magnesium carbonates high quantities of iron content is there aluminum is there lime is there and magnesia is present it is rich in potash lime aluminum calcium and magnesium poor in nitrogen phosphoric acid and humus so humus is a dead leaf you know when they decay it forms a kind of fertile soil that's called as humus nature sticky when wet so when it is wet when the soil is wet it is sticky high degree of moisture retentivity so it can keep moisture wetness in the soil for a very long time maharashtra and malwa plateaus kathiawar peninsula telangana and rayalaseema region of andhra pradesh and northern part of karnataka what crops grow there cotton millet millet is sirudhaniyam tobacco and sugarcane red soil formation decomposition of ancient crystalline rocks like granites and genius and from form rock type so decomposition decomposition is splitting so when rocks split crystalline rocks are separated or split like uh, quartz you say mica these kind of things produce uh, red soil it is rich in minerals such as iron and magnesium deficient deficient means it lacks it is less in nitrogen humus as i said humus is the organic uh, fertility because of dead uh, leaves phosphoric acid and lime nature light texture so this light is not the sunlight okay light is very not uh, heavy but it is light texture porous it has got holes in it friable presence of limited soluble salts clay fraction of the red soils generally consist of kaolinic mineral so this is a type of mineral where it is a mixture of white and gray clay that's called as kaolinic mineral where do you find this eastern parts of deccan plateau southern states of kerala tamil nadu karnataka and chota nagpur plateau which is in jharkhand so what are the crops wheat rice cotton sugarcane and pulses pulses are nothing but daniyam we say no that's uh, pulses laterite soils formation formed in the regions where alternate wet and hot dry conditions prevail so whichever region has got hot and wet coming uh, continuously back to back front to back uh, that uh, kind of regions have this kind of soil it is formed by the process of leaching leaching is when the soil of that region is washed away because we have uh, hotness and then we have rain so what will happen is the sand will be washed away that is called as leaching chemical properties composed mainly of hydrated oxides of iron and aluminum nature <coughs> more acidic on higher areas poor in high level cannot retain moisture so here the wetness of the soil is not uh, maintained while plains they consist of heavy loam so when it is in a plain area that's a flat area it has got heavy loam and clay and easily they can retain moisture where do we find this assam hills hill summits of kerala and karnataka and eastern ghats and region of odisha so where do we find this coffee uh, i mean crops are coffee rubber cashew nut and tapico tapico is this uh, uh, these uh, maravali kalangi and all that we eat no that is called as tapico okay the next one we have is forest and mountain soil so they differ from region to region depending on the climate formation due to mechanical weathering caused by snow rain temperature variation Uh, mechanical weathering is uh, uh, due weathering is destruction okay 
are chemical properties they are deficient in potash that means they lack there is less amount of potassium phosphorus and lime nature so light they are sandy thin and found with the pieces of rock their character changes with the parent rock so the the original rock will have one character and the uh, soil that's formed because of disintegration will be of another character very rich in humus slow decomposition makes it acidic uh, there coniferous forest belts of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and sikkim eastern and western ghats uh, crops coffee tea maize potato barley tropical fruits and uh, varied types of spices okay like uh, spices we already know which we use in our food uh, patta crambu we say you know those are called as spices the next one is arid and desert soils due to prevalence of the dry climate so arid means when the climate is very dry when the climate temperature is too high uh, what happens is we get this kind of a soil due to prevalence prevalence means due to existing dry climate high temperature and accelerated evaporation accelerated means speedy evaporation when will evaporation take place when the climate is hot evaporation will take place the soil is dry it also lacks humus content due to the absence of vegetative cover so as i told you humus is the dry leaf a uh, decay so when it is uh, not able to you know the vegetation cover that's a topmost cover is not possible chemical properties contain high percentages of soluble salts alkaline with varying degree of calcium carbonate and are poor in organic matter rich enough in phosphate though poor in nitrogen <coughs> so uh, they are uh, uh, they are <coughs> poor in organic matter and they are also poor in nitrogen nature it's light in color low humus friable structure low in moisture rajasthan natural I mean sorry northern gujarat and southern punjab what do we crops millets barley cotton maize and pulses next we have saline and alkyl alkaline soil saline is <coughs> salt salt mixed salty soils are called as alkaline formation formed due to ill drainage so when the drainage is not so good which causes water logging logging is when in drainage when water is not able to flow freely water will become stagnant at one place it will be there in one place that's called water logging injurious salts are transferred from substance to the top soil by the capillary action so we know that the earth's surface you know is made up of layers so what will happen is uh, these injurious salts will transfer from the lower bottom of the surface to the upper part of the surface by capillary action so it causes the salination of soil chemical properties it liberates sodium magnesium and calcium salts and sulfurous acids consist of an excess of sodium salts and mineral fragments which are Uh, weathering so here it uh, has mineral fragments fragments are small pieces example on uh, places where you find them is andhra pradesh and karnataka in the drier parts of bihar uttar pradesh haryana punjab rajasthan and maharashtra crops do not grow because of excess salination of soil so what will happen is when the soil content is more you cannot expect crops to grow pt and marshy soils formed in humid humid is again hot regions from the organic matter it is found in the areas of heavy rainfall and high humidity pt soils are black heavy and highly acidic so here we have chemical properties it is deficient deficient means it is less in potassium and phosphate nature it contains considerable amount of soluble salts and 10 to 40% of organic matter and high proportion of vegetable matter so where do we find in kottayam and alappuzha districts of kerala coastal areas of odisha and tamil nadu sundarbans of west bengal in bihar and alamara district 
so crops are paddy jute soil degradation so how does soil degrade reduce soil degradation is an acute problem a small problem in india according to 2015 report of the indian institute of remote sensing which is iirs they estimated the amount of soil erosion erosion is washing off of the upper part of the soil is called erosion that occurs in india was 147 million hectares the main problem of indian soils are so how does oil get degraded or reduced one is soil erosion which can be sheet erosion drill erosion gully erosion ravine and badlad the second one is degradation of soil second one third reason why soil gets into trouble is water logging next one is saline and alkaline then salt flats types of soils are different erosion so erosion washing of the soil happens because of different types of soil so how to uh, conserve how to protect and how to manage soil afforestation afforestation is you need to grow more and more trees you can construct dams and barrages you can prevent overgrazing so don't allow animals to completely eat uh, the whole grounds okay improved methods of agricultural pro, uh, practices so we might have some uh, common practices for agriculture but you can still improve it like counter method rotation of crops yeah, i hope you know what is rotation of crops uh, a certain crop will be cultivated for a certain time immediately the next crop will uh, be put for a month or so then the next crop like that you go for a rotation counter bunding strip cropping strips is Uh, you know you know what is strips right in different columns and the planting of shelter bells adopting the technique of sustainable agriculture are different conservation methods for better soil management so these are the methods by which you can conserve the soil to have sustainable that means lifelong agricultural being done throughout india so <coughs> here we have types of soil been shown to you and their different places go through the lesson children